Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. Okay, in this video I'm going to do uh, a quick uh, rundown, uh, a how-to for developers, uh, giving you a little bit of, a bit of information about S2 members hooks and filters, and how S2 member passes variables and variable references through its hooks and filters, and Specifically, I'm going to show you how you can set option values for custom registration fields that have been configured with S2 member through the dashboard. Okay, so we're going to dive right in here. I'm going to start off with the general options panel for S2 member. This is an installation of WordPress 3.1. I'm at the general options panel with S2 member installed, and I'm at the custom registrations screen. And as you can see, I have a select menu drop down configured with a unique ID of country code, and it's a required field, applied to all membership levels. And I'm going to click Edit here and just pop open the panel so you can see what I'm dealing with here in the UI configuration so that later you'll understand what I'm actually doing in the code with this particular field ID. So this is a select menu, has a label of Choose Country with a unique field ID of country code. It's a required field, and I have one option value configured for this drop-down menu. So in the drop-down menu there will be one option that will be labeled Mexico. It'll have a value internally of MX and then I've thrown in this additional default flag on the end specifying this as the default option. Now, of course this would be the default option because there's only one option in this, in this demonstration. And the reason I only have one here is what we're actually going to do later in code is we're going to just wipe all of this out completely through PHP and on this particular field ID for country code, we're going to pre-populate these options that you see in the example, United States, Canada, and Virgin Islands. We're, we're going to set the option values dynamically. Now, why would you do that? Well, it can be very useful for a developer. A lot of clients uh, would like to have uh, drop-down menus pre-populated. For example, I had a forum post just recently where someone was asking if it was possible to have a drop-down menu configured with S2 member that contained a list of all existing users so that someone could be referenced or referred by uh, another member and they could choose that member from a drop-down by username. So obviously that's something that would have to be done through a hook or a filter um, uh, so allowing you to pull information from a database. So there are many uses for this technique and in the very next segment of this video we're going to go into a code editor and I'm going to show you how this would be possible. So here, here you see the unique idea is country code. I have this select menu. So I'm going to switch over here to this tab where I have the default login registration system that comes with WordPress. And this is what S2 member integrates with in the free version of S2 member. And here's my uh, custom registration field where I have a drop down to choose country. And there's one option, Mexico. Okay, so this keeps it very simple and uh, in the next portion of this uh, the, uh, video, I'm going to cover how we can pre-populate this drop-down with values in PHP. Okay, uh, one other thing I'd like to touch on real quick is that custom registration fields, this drop-down you see here, these are also uh, possible with S2 members pro forms. So although in this video I'm going to keep everything in the free version so that it's easy for developers to experiment with, all of the topics that we're covering in this video are also uh, capable of being applied in the S2 member ProForm integrations. Alright, so we're going to pick up in the next segment inside my code editor.